Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to convert a plain normal video into a time lapse video in Premiere Pro. Let's take a look at our video of before and after, of what we are going to create and learn. That looks super awesome. This tutorial will have good insights and tricks about Premiere Pro, so be sure to check it. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as Time Lapse. We will now bring our stock video to our project panel. I want this project to be in 30 frames per second. Go to File, New and select New Sequence. I will use the 30 frames 1080 pixels settings, click OK. Now drag our stock video to our sequence panel. Here we have an option to keep the existing settings which is 30 frames or we can change the sequence settings to match our video which is 24 frames. We will use the keep existing settings. Here we have a normal New York traffic video. We will convert this into a time lapse video. First we don't need audio for this edit, so I will unlink it and delete the audio. Before we begin, as you see our video looks a little dull. For that we should color grade our video to make it look more vibrant. Go to effects panel and type in curves. Place the RBG curves onto our video. We will increase the highlight a little and bring some shadow to it. We don't want our midtones to be high. Increase the red a little which will make our video look more eye pleasing, since it's in the night. Also we will add some color balance to it and again play with it until you get satisfied with the result. That looks super good. Now let's make our video into a time lapse. Go to effects panel and type in posterize time. Here place the posterize time effects onto our video. In the effects control panel, we have our posterize time effect which indicates our video frames which is 24. To make a time lapse we will bring down the frames to 0.8. You can use frames from 0.5 to 2, but for me 0.8 frames gives me the good output. The posterize time works as a frame rate locker for our video. I will now explain how it works. Our video normally plays in 24 frames per second which means as it is. In each second our video have 24 images packed. If we locked it to 0.8 frames, then that means every second posterize time effect will lock our video to play only 0.8 frames per second, which will make our video to skip frames in a second. Now let's play it and see how it looks. That looks good but as you see it looks super slow and time lapse are supposed to be a showing the time speed. So right click on our video and select speed duration. Here change the speed to 800%, which will increase our video speed to 8x. Now let's play it. That looks super awesome, we now created our time lapse video from a plain normal video. We can increase the speed a little to make it look more good. Again right click and go to speed duration. Change it to 1000% and let's play it. 
that looks perfect. We now know how to convert a normal video into a time lapse. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Please hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. We finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any doubt please feel free to comment in the comment section. I will be more than happy to help. Please hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you liked this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.